एंड वेलकम टू द सेशन आई एम दीपिका हेयर लेट्स डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन विच से विच आर द फॉलोइंग ऑर्ग्यूमेंट आर करेक्ट एंड विच आर नॉट करेक्ट गिव रीजन फॉर योर आंसर वन इफ टू पॉइंट आर टॉस्ट साइमल्टेनियसली देर आर थ्री पॉसिबल आउटकम्स टू हेड्स टू टेल्स और वन ऑफ इच therefore for each of these outcomes the probability is 1 by 3 two if the die is thrown there are two possible outcomes an odd number or an even number therefore the probability of getting an odd number is 1 by 2 let us first understand the meaning of equally likely events a given number of events are said to be equally likely if none of them is expected to occur in preference to the other that is each event has the same possibility of occurrence so this is the key idea behind our question we will take the help of this key idea to solve the above question so let's start the solution when two coins are tossed simultaneously the possible outcomes are now we write h for head and t for tail H H that is head on the first coin and similarly head on the other coin tail on both the coins and tail on the first coin and head on the second coin and head on the first coin and the tail on the second coin therefore the number of possible outcomes is equal to 4 let e denote the event of getting two heads on both the coins or two coins therefore number of outcomes Favorable to E is equal to one. That is a favorable outcomes for two heads is one. Therefore, the probability 
of the event E is equal to number of outcomes favorable to E upon total number of possible outcomes for so probability of getting two heads is 1 by 4 now similarly if a denote the event of getting two tails on two coins which are tossed simultaneously then probability of the event A is also 1 by 4 let B denote the event one head and one tail that is one of each when two coins are tossed simultaneously therefore the number of outcomes favorable to B is equal to 2 hence Probability of the event B is equal to 2 upon 4 which is equal to 1 by 2. Hence we have seen the probability of getting two heads when two coins are tossed simultaneously is 1 by 4. Similarly the probability of getting two tails when two coins are tossed simultaneously is 1 by 4. And the probability of getting one of each when two coins are tossed simultaneously is 1 by 2. So these are not equally likely events because the probability of getting one of each is double the probability of getting two heads or two tails when two coins are tossed simultaneously hence our given statement is incorrect hence the given argument is incorrect we can classify the outcomes like this but they are not equally likely hence the answer for the above question is our argument is incorrect we can classify the outcomes like this but they are not then Reason is that one of each can result in two ways 
Strongly hit on first coin until on the second coin or from a tail on the first coin and head on the second coin. This makes it Precisely as likely as two heads or two tails. So this is the answer for part one. Part two, a die is thrown. So when a die is thrown, the possible outcomes are one, two, three. Four, five, and six. Therefore, the number of all possible outcomes is equal to six. Let A denote the event. Of getting an even number therefore probability of the event A is equal to now there are three even numbers so this is equal to 3 upon 6 which is equal to 1 by 2. Let B denote the event of getting an odd number now there are three odd numbers, 1, 3 and 5. Therefore, the probability of the event B is equal to 3 upon 6 which is equal to 1 by 2. So we have seen that each event has the same possibility of occurrence. Hence, our given argument is correct because the two outcomes considered in the question are equally likely hence the answer for the above question is our argument is correct the two outcomes
consider in the question are equally likely i hope the solution is clear to you bye and take care